Good morning, I'm Joe Gum. More evacuations ordered in California as the Kincaid fire continues to spread. Overnight, deputies with the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office went through neighborhoods using high-low sirens to tell people living in that area to leave. Officials say the affected area was already under a mandatory evacuation order, but deputies wanted to warn those who might not have heeded the initial order. And the world's most wanted terrorists killed during a raid over the weekend. Members of the elite Delta Force killed Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi on Saturday in northern Syria. You're looking at the aftermath of that raid. The team blew holes in the side of the ISIS leader's hideout, prompting al-Baghdadi to flee into an underground tunnel with three children. Inside that tunnel, he detonated a suicide vest. In your next update at 827, we'll show you why one World Trade Center was lit blue and white last night. Now, here's a check of your forecast, Aaron. Well, we're still dealing with the dense fog. Visibility now reported at nothing in Temple. We've got Cameron at a half mile, Mejia less than that, along with Corsicana. So dense fog advisories still in place this morning. We'll start to see the fog mixing out around 9, 930, and then we're expecting the advisories to expire at 10 o'clock this morning. Now, besides the fog and the cloudy skies, we're also dealing with some chilly temperatures, especially west of I-35, where we've got the 40s in Hamilton, Goldthwaite and San Saba, 54 in Lampasas and Colleen, 57 now reported in Waco. You've got these north winds in Hamilton, Gatesville, Colleen and Lampasas now. Everyone else still reporting that southerly wind, but once that front rolls through, we've got a wide range of temperatures this afternoon. 50s west of I-35, mid and upper 60s along I-35 and then we're in the 70s. I think we could even have some spots closer to 80 degrees in our southeastern counties. Tomorrow, more rain is expected. We've got some drizzle in the morning, scattered showers and storms in the afternoon. Heaviest rain arrives as we head into Wednesday, though. We'll talk more about that at 826. Stay with 25 News.